Hello and welcome to our next Proxmox video. For this video we will need to download a copy of Ubuntu Server. At the time of recording this video the current long term support version was 20.04. From the Ubuntu download screen click on option 2, manual server installation. The version we want to download is Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS. Depending on your internet speed, this may take a few minutes to download. For this video, we have sped up the process. Once downloaded, go back to Proxmox. Click on the node, then storage. Click upload and look for the ISO that you just downloaded. Select it and click open. then click upload. Depending on your network speed and type of storage, this could take anything up to a minute to upload. Click on create VM. From the create virtual machine screen, fill out the name field. Click Next. On the OS screen, click on the ISO image drop down and select the correct ISO. Click Next. On System, the default should be OK. Click Next. For disks, the defaults again should be OK. Change the disk size if you need to. Click Next. For CPU, if you are happy, accept the defaults and click Next. Do the same with memory and for network. Click Next to get to a summary screen. If you're happy with the settings, click Finish to create the VM. Once created, expand the node and you will now see the VM listed in your list on the left hand side. Click Start and then Console to see the VM booting up. Select the correct language and then press enter. 
select the correct keyboard language. Select the correct network interface so that the installation can use it to download updates or accept the default. If you use a proxy to access the internet, enter it on this page. Mirror address can be kept as default. Configure the disk on this page. Normally the defaults should be fine. This screen will show a summary of the storage configuration. Accept the defaults. You'll have to confirm acceptance as this will wipe the disk. Select continue. On this screen, enter your name, the name you want to give the server, a username, and enter your password twice. Select Done. Ubuntu Advantage can be skipped. Select Done. For SSH setup, press space to select it. Click Done. Snaps are pre-configured packages that the installation can load, saving you time setting these up later. For this installation we can skip these. Select Done. The installation will now start. This will take a few minutes. To save time, this sequence has been sped up. Once the installation has completed, select Reboot Now. Upon reboot, you are asked to remove the installation media and press Enter. To do this, go back to Proxmox, click on Hardware, click on the CD DVD drive and click Remove. Then go back to the console and press enter. When the boot up is finished, log in. 
I made a small mistake. Ubuntu doesn't use root to log in. Instead, use the name that you added during installation and the password that you created. As a test, run top so you can see how the system is running. To shut down a running virtual machine, click on shutdown. It will ask you to confirm. It will then send a shutdown command to the VM, which could take a few minutes depending on the operating system. You can see the status now shows as stopped. We're now going to convert the VM to a template. A template allows you to use one VM to create more VMs based on the same image. Click on more and click on convert to template. The VM settings are then saved as a template from which you can create more VMs. You can clone a template to create a VM with the template settings. To do this, right click on the VM, then click clone. Type in the name that you wish to give it. For mode, you can have a linked clone or a full clone. A full clone can run independently and the linked clone needs the template present. When this process has finished running, you will have a VM that has the settings of the original template. The clone is a separate VM and we can perform the same operations that we can perform on a normal VM. To remove a VM, select the VM that you want to remove. Click on more, click remove, as a security check type in the ID, in this case 101. Select purge from job configurations and destroy and reference disks owned by guest, then click remove. Thank you for watching, for more content please subscribe to my channel. I create videos about tech content with a focus on smart home technology. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click the notification bell. If there's anything you'd like to see, please comment below.